Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, I'm going to give you a brief overview about financial ratios in business studies. Finance is a topic that not every student looks forward to. There's a bit of a reputation around this topic where it's complex and difficult and hard to understand and super mathsy, and not all of that is actually true. In terms of a starting point, ratios are really important because they allow us to tell a story about a business. What do I mean by that? Well, we might say that a business is very inefficient, or we might say that a business isn't very financially stable. But if we don't have any evidence, that argument isn't very strong. So what we need is we need numbers and figures and stats and real kind of concrete evidence to make our point and say, this is the actual state of the business, and here are the numbers to prove it. That they are used in the real world so that people can come up with a really accurate view about what is happening with the business and then internally what the business should do, what strategies it should put in place and then externally, should I invest in the business? So if I'm then thinking about the areas that we look at, so we look at liquidity, we look at gearing, we look at efficiency, and we look at profitability. The liquidity ratios are looking at how well can a business meet its short-term debts? So how well can a business fulfill, meet, solve, pay for its short-term liabilities? So what we are really thinking about is what is the relationship between a business's current assets, its short-term assets, and its current liabilities, so the short-term liabilities. So if I'm thinking about, okay, what is the short-term financial stability of a business? Oh, okay, I'm going to go to the liquidity ratios. In terms of gearing, gearing is a little bit more long-term than liquidity, but gearing is not about like shifting gears or something. The gearing relates to debt. When we talk about a business being heavily geared, it relates to it being heavily indebted. So when we do the gearing ratio, what we're looking at is what are the sources of funding for a business? How reliant is it on external finance, debt, versus internal finance, owner's equity? So we're looking at the business's numbers and we're saying, does it have a lot of debt relative to equity? So liquidity, short-term financial stability. Gearing, long-term, how indebted is the business? How solvent might it be in the future? When we're looking at the efficiency ratios, we're looking at how efficient the business is. Yeah, can you believe it? How obvious. But when we think about efficiency, we are thinking about the maximum effort with very little waste. So all the resources are being put to good use. And the efficiency ratios show us that. They are showing us that for the amount of money that is being spent, the expenses, what is that doing in terms of sales? Are we spending a lot of money, but not generating a lot of sales? Likewise, efficiency also looks at how good are we, how efficient are we at chasing up the money that is owed to us? So we've got accounts receivable, which is money that people owe, say, my business. How efficient am I in terms of using my time to chase up that money? Am I maybe not being very efficient and all that money is sitting elsewhere? Or am I doing a very good job bringing the money into the business that allows me then to use that cash to do other things. Now, the last one relates to profitability. The main goal of a business is to earn profit. That's the story. Without profit, a business really cannot thrive and grow and expand and become a much larger operation. In terms of profitability, we are looking at the business's ability to earn profit given its expenses and its revenue. So with the profitability ratios, we look at gross profit, so revenue minus cost of goods sold. We also look at net profit, which is revenue minus all expenses, which gives us a really clear indication of what the business is earning relative to its sales. And then the other thing is we look at return on equity. What are the investors getting back in terms of profit relative to the amount of money that they're actually putting in? So we're not just saying, oh yeah, the business records a profit, that's fantastic. We are going a bit deeper. We are looking at that level of profit in relation to a number of different things so that we can really clearly say, yes, this business is highly profitable. 
no, this business is not profitable. So we've got these four areas we look at in terms of ratios, liquidity, gearing, efficiency, and profitability. Wow, so lucky I could remember all those four. So I'll have videos for each of those areas so you can go through and look at how do I calculate the liquidity ratio? How do I calculate gearing and so on? But this video is really to set it up, to kind of give you a big picture view that when you get to say, for example, do the efficiency ratio, what is it that you're actually looking at? So hopefully that this makes the financial ratios part a little bit simpler a little less complex and confusing perhaps. And if you've got any questions or comments, just put them in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching.